So welcome to Yoga Nidra. So for all of our sessions, I've been focusing on, of course, the breath and how can we create healthy and maybe even healthier breathing patterns and let go of some of the constrictions in our breath. And we practice both some more active breathing practices. Um, we did the Kapalabhati breath, that really strong one. Tonight we're going to do more passive breathing practices that focus both on the slow measured breath as well as supported restorative yoga postures that help to open up the, the rib cage and the chest. They give more space for the lungs and the diaphragm. And they just allow us to really sink into our, our body's own knowing and um, really in a more passive way, allow the, the, the muscles to relax so that the breath can emerge. So this evening we're going to be using a bolster a lot. So that's our long cushion. So either have one, as I said last week, put it on the Christmas list or a makeshift one rolling up your bolster in a blanket. So we're going to start with supported bound angle pose. I think that's actually what we started with last week too. So I'm just going to shift my camera around here. And it's nice to have a cushion or something for your head or a rolled up blanket. And maybe some blocks to support your feet. So just have everything you need close by. So you set the bolster lengthwise on your mat and then just gently support yourself down so that you're lining up your spine nicely along the bolster, supporting your head so that your neck isn't hyperextended and relaxing the arms to the sides. Couple positions for your legs. And remember, if you feel tension in your lower back, it's nice to lift your pelvis and then lengthen out a little bit and then release it back down. You can either keep your knees bent with your feet on the ground about hip width apart, or you can stretch your legs out along the ground. Or if you want more opening to your hips and it feels good for you, bring the soles of your feet together and this is where you're going to need your blocks so the blocks support the outer thighs so that your muscles don't have to keep gripping your muscles should be able to completely relax and let go here so the inner thighs the groin the hips your head stays in line with the spine so just taking a moment just to completely make yourself comfortable these restorative postures are more about being rather than doing. So sometimes it takes a little bit to start to feel comfortable in them. And that's why we also hold them a little bit longer as well. So coming back to your breath and taking a few cleansing breaths to release your day. So breathe in deeply through the nose, Pause a moment, and then that long, slow exhale through your mouth. <sighs> and you can even give some voice to it, like a, a deep sigh. Here I am on my yoga mat. Finally, take a deep breath in. <sighs> you feel how your body, the weight starts to let go. One more time on your own timing, breathing deeply into your capacity without strain. Just a long, luxurious exhale all the way out. And then coming back to your normal breathing pattern. And each time you exhale, invite that sense of your weight settling 
onto your mat. Feel the weight of your head releasing. Feel the shoulders gently beginning to let go as they just kind of drift down the sides of the bolster. Symbolically, the palms are up, letting go of whatever's happened in your day. Feel the fullness of the breath in the belly, in the rib cage, up into the chest, across the collarbones. And invite the pelvis to become very heavy. Soften the buttocks, relaxing the thighs, the inner thighs, and the outer thighs, the knees, down through the feet. Beginning to relax any tension in your face, your jaw, your eyes. Simply beginning to settle into the rhythm of your own breath. And there's lots of things that we can learn from the breath, lots of different ways of paying attention to the breath. So to begin with this evening, just start to feel the touch of breath in and out through your nostrils. Feeling how the air is a little bit cool as you breathe in, a little bit more warmer and moist as you breathe out. Let this be the full focus of your attention for a moment. Just a touch of air and breath as it enters and leaves the body. Begin to follow the journey of that breath back through the sinuses. Feel how it touches in through the back of the throat. Moving down into the lungs. And all the way back out again. Feel how in this supported back bending position when we're lying on a bolster, there's a little bit more space, more space in the abdomen, more space in the rib cage, in the chest, more space for the lungs. They don't have to work so hard. These pasti passive restorative postures are so good for our breathing. In fact, they're often used in cardiac rehabilitation programs to help with breathing. They begin to gently create space and length and more elasticity in some of the breathing muscles. Just relaxing into this breath. Throughout this evening's class, we're going to be focusing on um, this sense of loving awareness that's within us and all around us and woven throughout all the world and creation. And somehow the breath begins to connect us to this loving 
awareness that we are. Iconic teacher Ram Das has a lovely mantra that he uses faithfully, or he passed away almost a year ago now, but that he would just repeat along with his breath, I am loving awareness. I am, as you breathe in, loving awareness as you breathe out. As you continue to pay attention to your breath and this stream of prana and life energy, imagine breathing to the very edges of your skin in all directions, filling your whole body with this prana. And as you exhale, just that softening into your center, wherever you feel it, you might Feel that center in your heart center. You might feel it down into your abdomen, but just have that sense of breathing to the edges of your skin as you breathe in and breathing back to your center as you breathe out. And let the breath just be very natural. Don't try to force it. Just these restorative postures and just paying attention to our breath is enough. As I mentioned earlier, these are postures of just being. Letting everything go. And just being in your body and its sacred state. So throughout the rest of our class this evening, we're going to continue to just feel this sense of breathing to the edges of our skin and back to our center. And breath as loving awareness. This loving awareness between our mind and our body and between ourselves and the great loving awareness, the universal consciousness. So before we start to move, you might want to take another cleansing breath. Maybe something started to release. So take a deeper breath in and that long, slow exhale. Just notice what wants to start to Release and let go. Now, if your legs are up to the side, bring your knees back to center first, plant your feet firmly on the ground again. And it's nice to do that little release for the lower back with the hula dance. So lift your pelvis up away from the ground and just gently wiggle your hips from side to side. And finally, releasing back down. And then rolling off your bolster onto your side but right away, you're just going to slide that bolster out from behind you. I actually have to, I have a wall in the way, so I'm going to slide it up above me. Now, you are going to need just one block for this next pose. You don't quite need it yet because we're going to just warm up a little bit. So you're going to be lying on your back with your knees bent and feet flat hip-width apart, 
Bring your palms up, roll your shoulders under a little bit so that you feel like you have a little space between your shoulder blades even before we lift. So we're going to be coming into bridge pose. So just come to that awareness of your breath and maybe just awareness of the breath in your belly. Breathing in, belly expands. Breathing out as the belly releases. And just feel that fullness and maybe breathe a little bit deeper than your normal breath. And you might even begin to feel a slight rocking movement as it moves through your hips and your pelvis. Before we start, one more prop you might need is some kind of a strap or belt. And I apologize, I didn't tell you that at the very beginning of class. So just take a moment and have that close by. I'll continue to breathe a little bit into the belly. So both your block and your strap are within your arm's reach. And now we're gonna start kind of the, the wavy bridge. So as you inhale, pressing your feet into the ground and lifting your hips and your pelvis away from the ground. As you exhale, releasing back down. Inhale, rooting your feet into the ground and the hips float up. Exhale, floating back down. So let's do that a few times. Inhale, lifting. Exhale, try to keep tension out of your jaw and your face. Feel that wave-like action as it moves through your body along with your breath. And now last time, inhale, lift the pelvis away from the ground. You're going to take your block and slide it underneath your pelvis. And I usually use, you know, the, the really um, wider, flat side of the block. So you want it right behind the sacrum. The sacrum is that triangular um, Bone, fuse bone in the back of your pelvis here. So you want to make sure that the block isn't too high. It shouldn't feel like it's cutting into your lower back. It should feel really nice and snug underneath your pelvis. Again, if you can roll your shoulders under a little bit more, allowing the, uh, again, that space between your shoulder blades a little bit more spaciousness in the chest and the heart center. And come back to that fullness of your breath. And so we're in just a really gentle yoga inversion here. And inversion is when our legs or our our legs are higher than the rest of our body, so we're getting the return of the blood back to the major organs, to the, the heart and the brain, very calming and soothing for the nervous system. So this is just a baby inversion, very gentle. And if you wanted to increase this uh, and go to the next stage of this inversion, just gently lift both feet off the ground. Now, you want to try to have your knees directly over top of your hips. So there's kind of a vertical line here. Your feet are dangling back towards your bum or the back of your thighs here. And really want to feel the weight of your femurs, those thigh bones releasing so that the head of the femur releases into the hip socket here. So this is a really nice way of releasing through the SI joints and releasing through the hips. And come back to that lovely spacious breath. Breathing to the, the outer edges of your skin 
And as you exhale, that soften back to center. Let the face be relaxed here and let the head be heavy. Give up the weight of your head along with the weight of your thighs. Eyes are soft or closed. The next variation is to turn it into a really supported um, shoulder stand. The shoulder stand is usually quite an advanced yoga pose, but we're going to just do it with our hips on a block here, so it won't put any tension on our weight on our neck here. We're going to start with a little warm-up for the legs here. So as you inhale, stretch your one leg up towards the ceiling, and as you exhale, releasing it down. On the next one, inhale the opposite leg up, point your foot, and exhale, releasing down. I'm just alternating from side to side, inhale, straightening the leg, exhaling, bending. Nice, slow, breath-centered movement. time releasing down so so we could either just straighten our legs here but it's nice to have a tie now we have to do a little bit of a lassoing of our feet here in this pose so it's like you actually have to throw the tie oops I missed around your feet there and then extend the feet up and like we do with our hamstring stretch, you can just wrap the tie around your hands and you just have a nice supported shoulder stand here. So once you, you understand the pose, please keep your head on straight. Don't keep turning your head from side to side. So just look up towards your feet. You might want to take a deep centering breath all the way in, pausing a moment. That long, slow exhale. Let the weight of your legs settle through the back of your pelvis. Allow the backs of your shoulders to relax. Let go of the weight of your head. Coming back to your full body breath. So breathing that energy and prana to the edges of your skin. And as you exhale, drawing back to center. course, another way to do this pose would be to do legs up the wall pose and without the block. Feeling the settling in your body. The settling of your mind. the slowing down. It seems as our breath begins to slow down, we too begin to 
slow down, to come to a place of rest and ease. Let's take two more breaths here. Breath, gently bend your knees, and release the tie, and find the ground with your feet again. Let's take a cleansing breath before we release completely, so breathe in deeply through your nose. Long, slow breath out. And to release, press your feet into the ground enough so that you can lift the pelvis away from the ground. Slide that block out from underneath you. And then it will probably feel pretty good to draw your knees in towards your little clasp there. You can rock from side to side. You can circle. And then we're going to take two individual circles. So place your palms on the fronts of your knees, on the kneecaps. And then tracing circles with your knees, kind of like a frog kick here. So again, getting deep into your hip sockets and releasing through the SI joints in the back of the pelvis. And then releasing both feet down. And for the next pose, you might want to just help yourself up to seated for a moment because I want you to be able to watch the placement of this um, pose before we do. So the next pose is, um, it's, it's another a supported version of bridge pose, only we're going to be using a bolster instead of a block. And the placement of the bolster is gonna be really important and you'll see in a moment when I demonstrate. Now, we can either do this pose with our knees bent and feet flat, or we can extend our legs along the ground. So let me just show you how I'm, I'm setting my yoga mat up here. So I've got the bolster lengthwise towards the top of my mat. Towards the bottom of my mat, I'm going to place two blocks. And I'm gonna be using the two blocks if I'm doing the extended leg version. So if you have blocks available or just something that you can rest your feet on, you can have that available. So here's the pose. You're gonna be sitting on the edge. And I wanna make sure that you can see my whole body here. Okay, so I'm sitting towards the bottom edge of the bolster. And then I'm gonna support myself down. And you want this upper edge of the bolster to hit the bottom edge of your shoulder blades so that when you relax down, the shoulders touch the ground. And I don't think you can quite see that. So again, I'm gonna shift. I need somebody to work my camera for me here. <laughs> so there we go. My shoulders are resting on the ground. And so this is the version with your knees bent and your feet flat. You can also try the straight leg version. Let's see if I have my blocks in the right place, just about, so that my feet 
can rest on the block. So I get this full back bending supported bridge pose here. So if you haven't already begun to try and get yourself into position, go ahead and do that. Remember I said these restorative poses uh, often take us uh, some trial and error. So you might not, it might not feel right the first time you do it. So make some adjustments. Also, depending on how tight you are in your shoulders and your upper back, sometimes, so I have a pretty thick bolster here. So this bolster for some people would be too thick. And if it feels too thick for you, then just use a rolled up blanket or something. So please take good care of yourself. Make sure that the back of your head is resting on the ground, that you're not hanging in mid air with your chin lifting up. So again, comfort is key to these poses. One more time. And once you get into the pose, come back to that beautiful full body breath we've been practicing. So, and, and sometimes if you find that your head can't get comfortable, you can also use a folded blanket or a bit of a cushion there. Knees either bent or legs extended, resting on your little table of blocks. So you see how you get this lovely opening through the side body and the rib cage. And you'll probably actually find when you first come into the pose that the top of that bolster feels a little bit pokey in your upper back. So see if you can just breathe and soften into that pressure. As I mentioned, sometimes it takes our bodies a minute or two to begin to adjust and mold to the shape of the bolster. And again, if you find that you can't get comfortable, please come out of a pose. And Either use a folded blanket or just lie flat and enjoy your breath. So slowly scanning your body, noticing where there's resistance here. And in, you know, this is a little bit more advanced restorative posture so you indeed might find some places in your body that feel tight or feel restricted. I mentioned breathing into that pressure of the bolster in the upper back and it's amazing the more you can soften into that in the back body the more the chest and the heart center begins to open and create a soft sense of spaciousness. If you like, you can come back to the mantra we've been using this evening, I am loving awareness. Repeating it silently in your own mind. With awareness of your own breath. Awareness of your body. Awareness of your thoughts. Be kind to yourself. Awareness to whatever your experience is. Really 
feeling and sensing into your heart center this evening. As I mentioned, a lot of these poses are used for cardiac rehabilitation. They create physically more space in the heart center muscles. And I think somehow too, they begin to create a little bit more space emotionally. So we can be with our experience, our feelings. I always remember uh, Sufi poet Hafiz's uh, part of his poem when I'm in these um, reclining restorative heart openers. Awake, my dear. Be kind to your sleeping heart. Take it into fields of light and let it breathe. Awake, my dear. Be kind to your sleeping heart. Take it into fields of light and let it breathe. So I'm taking just a few more breaths here. And now to come out of the pose, if you have your legs extended, the first thing you're gonna do is bend your knees and place your feet back on the ground there. And then very carefully begin to roll off your bolster onto your side. And indeed you might be a little bit tender in that upper back area. So we're gonna come back to lying on your back. Take a little hug of the knees in again. And again, rock and roll, target any tender areas in your back and your spine. And then placing your feet back on the ground. But take your feet a little wider apart, so mat width apart. And then take your arms out to the side from your shoulders. Nice little twist to end things off before we start our yoga nidra. So just releasing both knees one direction and then over to the other side. So the upper body stays still. The hips and the pelvis are shifting from side to side. And once that's working well, you can turn your head in the opposite direction of your knees. Inhale in one direction and exhaling in the other direction. And if you'd like, just holding on one side for a couple breaths. Let the weight of the legs release. Let the side body open. And when you're ready, over to the other side. Turning your head in the opposite direction. Again, allowing the weight of your thighs to release. Breathing into anything in the lower back area.
and then gently coming back to center. And we'll get ready for our yoga nidra practice this evening. You can either lie on your mat or in an easy chair on your bed, whatever is most comfortable for you. Cushions, pillows, blankets, everything you need to be comfy and cozy. So this evening we're going to be focusing on just resting and relaxing into that spacious, loving, aware presence that we already are. I always say that yoga nidra is that practice of shedding all the layers that prevent us from seeing and being that loving presence. So stretching your legs out along the ground or whatever surface you're lying on. Invite the feet to fall out from the ankles, the inner thighs to spiral outwards. You might want to do a little squeeze and release of the buttocks so that the pelvis just feels nice and, and, and heavy and you release anything in the lower back. Adjust your arms, your shoulders. Now that beautiful alignment of your head with your spine. And do make sure that your chin isn't sticking up too high. So slightly draw the chin down. And the back of the neck stays nice and long. Feel the weight of your body meeting with the ground, the surface that you're lying on. Take a nice breath in. And as you exhale, let yourself go, surrender, release. Just before we settle into the practice, reading a passage from Richard Miller's book, Yoga Nidra. And what he calls radiant presence. He says, you may believe that the skin defines the boundary of your body, but the body is actually a multi-dimensional vibration that extends infinitely beyond any conceptual limitation of center or periphery. Your true nature has neither center nor periphery. It is simultaneously everywhere because it is omnipresent by nature. Unfortunately, many of us have forgotten this as our lived experience. We have grown numb to the infinite variety of physical sensations that form the radiance that is our body. And so it is time to feel and reclaim that spacious, radiant awareness. And so setting yourself free to an opening all of your senses. So we start by really being aware on all these levels. And then we slowly turn all of our senses inwards. So first just feel your body, feel your skin, feel the texture of your clothing against your skin. 
Be aware of the sensation in your mouth and your jaw. Bring awareness to listening presence. Be aware of sounds. Go back to feeling that touch of breath in and out through your nostrils. Maybe the sense of smell. And your eyes. Of course, the eyes are traditionally closed in this practice, but just feel for sensation around your eyes. Maybe notice the play of sensations or images in your mind's eye. And take another deep breath in. And as you exhale, continue to sink into the ground, the earth, whatever you're lying on. And trust that you are completely supported. There's nothing you have to do or make happen. Just be. And that beautiful wave-like action of your breath. And remembering your intention or your heartfelt prayer. A simple statement in the present moment. I am healthy. I am whole. I am relaxed. I am peaceful. I am loving presence. Repeating that a couple more times silently, just really planting that seed of awareness. Moving into our rotation of consciousness this evening. Bring awareness in a very mindful and intentional way all through our body. And so this evening, begin by bringing awareness to your mouth. Maybe moisten your lips. Relax tension in your jaw. Feel the space inside your mouth. The tongue. Continue to feel the wave of your breath. Now become aware of your left ear. And now your right ear. And now feel and sense both ears at the same time as listening presence. Feel the touch of the breath at the nostrils again. Now feel and sense sensation in your left eye and now the right eye. And now both eyes at the same time. Feel both eyes softening and relaxing. And now sensing all of those spaces at the same time. So sensing your mouth, your ears, your nose, your eyes, adding on your face, and your forehead, your scalp. Feel the weight of your head releasing through the back of the skull. Let awareness flow down through the neck and the throat. Perhaps swallow to relax the throat muscles.
Feel your body breathing. Now bring awareness to your left shoulder and now your right shoulder. And now both shoulders at the same time. Relax and release. Feeling down through your left arm. Feeling down through the right arm. And now both arms at the same time. Just feeling for sensation, not thinking. Feeling. Now bring awareness to your left hand and now to your right hand. And both hands at the same time. Feel the aliveness. Can you feel the echo of your breath in your fingertips? Feeling radiant sensation all the way from your fingertips up to your arms and your shoulders, your neck, your head, your face. And dropping attention down into the front of the chest. Down through the lower part of the rib cage in the front. And down into the belly and the abdomen. Feel the flow and movement of breath through the front of your torso. Now feeling into the upper back area, the space between your shoulder blades. Feeling into the mid back area. And the lower back area. Awareness of the entire back of your torso. And the flow of breath as it shifts. Bring awareness down into the hips and the pelvis. <coughs> Feeling into the back of the pelvis, the sacrum, triangular fused bone. Soften through the buttocks. Let the weight of the pelvis release every time you breathe out. Now shifting awareness to the left hip, feeling deeply into the hip socket. Let awareness flow down through the left thigh. Feel the weight of the femur, the large muscles, the thigh. Moving down through the left knee, softening the space behind the knee. Now through the shin and the calf muscle. Down through the ankle. 
flowing down into the left foot and all the toes. And feel the streaming aliveness all the way from the left hip down through the left foot. And you may even notice how different the left leg feels than your right leg. Maybe the left leg feels a little bit more lighter. You might have a sense of aliveness in the left leg. And so let's bring awareness now to your right hip. With each breath, creating a little bit more space deep in the right hip socket and to all the surrounding muscles and connective tissue. Flowing down through the right thigh, feel the heaviness of the right thigh. The right knee. Down through the lower leg. ankle, finally the right foot and all the toes, prana and energy streaming down through the right leg. Now being aware of both legs at the same time. Feeling the whole body, a dance of radiant sensation. Every time we practice yoga nidra, we are awakening new sensation. We're releasing tight areas. We're releasing numb areas. Releasing places where we feel stuck. Feeling into the front of your body. Notice sensation in the front of your body. Feeling into the back of your body. Notice sensation in the back of the body. Shift awareness now to just the left side of your body. Notice what that feels like. And now shift attention to the right side of the body, just the right side of the body. And now the whole body, radiant sensation. And feeling back into the awareness that simply watches and holds your shifting experience. that loving awareness. And feeling your breath. Feeling that sense of the breath at your nostrils and as it journeys all the way in and all the way back out. This breath as loving awareness.
Now imagine like we did at the beginning of class, breathing to the edges of your body, like the boundaries of your skin. And as you exhale, softening back to center. My body is loving awareness. My whole body is loving awareness. Repeating that silently in your own mind, if you like. Every single cell in our body filled with intelligence and love. Noticing whatever thoughts are arising and flowing. And acknowledging our thoughts too arise from this loving awareness. My thoughts are loving awareness. And feeling into the ground, the earth beneath you. Not as some inanimate matter, but this very alive presence in the earth herself. The earth is loving awareness. Holding you, supporting you. Let yourself dissolve into her loving arms. Feeling into the vastness of the sky above and the air around you. The air, the sky is loving awareness. And as you continue to breathe, to feel into your body, to feel into the earth beneath you, the sky above, to feel into this vast and loving presence that is not confined to the boundaries of your body. Resting deeply into the loving presence you already are.
You are the face of God. I hold you in my heart. You are a part of me. You are the face of God. You are the face of God. I hold you in my heart. You are a part of me. You are the face of God. You are the face of God. Tu es l'image de Dieu. I hold you in my heart. Tu es l'image de l'amour. You are a part of me. You are the face of You are the face of God. To say la luce di Dio. I hold you in my heart. To say il volto dell'amore. You are a part of me. You are the face of God. You are the face you are.
Feeling into that radiant, loving awareness that you are. Feeling your breath. Feeling back into the earth holding you and the sky above you. As it feels right, beginning to wiggle your fingers and your toes, inviting some movement back into the still place of your body. And since you're in your own home, you might choose to remain where you are, lying down. Or you can begin to stretch and move. When it feels right, rolling over onto your right side and resting there for a moment and Feeling back into that spacious awareness beyond the boundaries of your skin. And slowly coming back to a seated position as we close off our class this evening. Remembering that your eyes see with loving awareness, your ears listen with loving awareness, you speak with loving awareness, and your hands are the hands of loving awareness to a world in so much need. And so honoring your hearts, honoring each other. Namaste.